So before we change out the brake pads and the rotors, just going to clean out the brake lines. This video is going to be about the brake fluid flush, how you can do it by yourself. It's a pretty easy job. All right, so I've jacked the car up, took the wheels off just to get better access. You don't have to do it, but it makes it easier and it's a lot easier to film. So brake fluid sits in the brake fluid canister, funnily enough. Before you take the lid off, you just want to give it a wipe down so nothing goes in. We're going to use a syringe to take out as much of this liquid as I can, put new liquid in there, and then we'll pump that through, starting with the brake that's the furthest from the reservoir, which on, in this case is the rear left, and the rear driver's side, or the rear right-hand side, front left, front right. Got Castrol React. This is dot four. This car takes dot three as well. I've got one liter of that. And then I've just got a one litre bottle uh, with a wide base, so it'll sit nice and firm. Tube pushed in all the way to the bottom. The old brake fluid that I take out of the reservoir will partially fill this, just so no air back feeds into the brake line. This I'll cut to length once I have it in place. It'll be about five, five, six hundred mil long. So this tubing is six mil internal diameter. All right, so we'll take the fluid out of this. Let's try not to leak this on anything because it's very corrosive. We use this old shirt. So the fluid that we take out of here, we'll put in this bottle, but it'll remain at the bottom because all the new fluid will push itself in. So before we start pumping, we'll top this up with clean brake fluid and put the cap back on and then we'll move to the furthest wheel away, which is the rear left. This is what the front looks like. This is little protective caps here. And then you just put your spanner on there and turn to open the flush line. This is what the rear looks like. You can see the line coming in with a little cap that you have to take off there. So this is the rear left wheel. I've got the tube attached. The hose goes up, so all the air will go up and not back into the brake line. I've just hung it on this bracket here, down in there, and the end of the tube is in the fluid, which is important, so no air will go back when you release the brake pedal. This bottle just has a little breather hole and then it's got the hole that's just slightly smaller than the tube. Okay, so eight mil spanner. I've got five mil internal diameter on this tube and I've got a cable tie hung around here loosely. I'll just open it up. If it doesn't spill, I won't bother with that, but if it does, I'll use that to cinch it up. All right, now I can see that is clear liquid. So that's the clean fluid coming through. You can tighten this one up and move on to the next furthest, which is the rear right. It doesn't take a lot of brake fluid to flush the lines. It's a small car like this, but we'll just double check that the reservoir is not running empty because we don't want to get air in there. So that'll be all right for one more and then we'll top it up before we do the front. On the rear here, I've just got it coming up, hung over this control arm. Now, I didn't need to use the cable tie on the last one, so I just left it loose. We've got the tube going down into the liquid. See, that's got a bit of a green colour to it. You can see I'm monitoring on my phone, which is connected to the camera. So I can see the colour of the brake fluid without having to get out. So we're on the front now, you can see how that's come out with a little bit of a green tinge. All right, so that's all four wheels done. This is what the fluid that came out looks like. It's pretty dark, it had a greenish tinge to it. Lots of air came out. Now, sometimes you'll see bubbles coming out very slowly. You don't have to keep pumping. You can just sit there and wait and let the air slowly pass through. You won't go through as much of the clean brake fluid. So all in all, I've done this with 500 mil, flushed all four. All right, so the last thing you have to do is to top this up to the same level that it was at when you started, but I'm gonna leave it in between min and max. 
When I change the brake pads, I'll have to compress the brake piston a bit and I'll get a little bit more fluid in here. So I'm happy with this sitting in between minimum and max. Today we're gonna to frush the bro frush. Oh man, I've forgotten how to talk to camera. <laughs>